Hello there, my name is Poi George, and I learned how to do Poi a month ago, so now I'm an expert. So I'm going to teach you some amazing facts and history about Poi. Poi first originated in Hawaii as a way to fight the white man and tax offenders. It's something the ancient Hawaiians used to call Kabarang. They would use this notion to signify to invaders that they were about to pulverize their gonads. It is widely believed that ancient Japanese fishermen developed their own method of poi using octopi they had accidentally caught with their fish. They named it octopoi. Germany started using poi balls as hammering tools to build their Porsches. The hammer hadn't been invented yet. They called it Das Porschenfahren. Poi is actually an acronym. It stands for Pellets Orbiting Intricately. But there's actually a wide variety of translations. Plastic ovular invention. Personal office icebox. People over insects. Painful oral intrusion. Pink ostrich intestines. Parasailing orangutan infidelity. Pancreatic opportunistic infections. Pounding Oliver's irises. Puckering over icing. Pointless orange igloos. Pansexual otters incorporated. In America, poi is used by religious homeschool teachers as a way to distract their children anytime they ask about science or anatomy. Former Senator Joseph McCarthy began to practice poi as he put together a list to scare Americans into thinking that liberal ideas are going to destroy America. After bruising his leg a couple of times, he put poi on the list. John Wayne invented the rope lasso after swinging a poi at high speed while trying to discipline his child. The KGB were originally called the KGP because they would use poi to eliminate their targets. Roman gladiators actually once had the option of using poi as their weapons during combat. Incredibly few stories of these gladiators exist because almost all of them would get absolutely destroyed. Danish actor Mads Mikkelsen, who played Le Chief in the James Bond film Casino Royale, practiced for the infamous testicular torture scene by using poi, eventually transitioning into ball whacking. He'd use captured squirrels as practice victims. The first person to ever successfully fly using poi was a man named Dixon Whitesey of Nellisburg, Virginia. He achieved this by spinning the poi above his head at incredibly high speeds and then jumping off a cliff. He had a hang time of about 1.2 seconds before he plummeted, and scientists decided that that counted. Originally in the Disney film Moana, the character Maui was going to have a poi scene, making him the first openly poi Disney character. But Disney decided to cut it, and only hint at Maui being openly poi. Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling later revealed that the character Seamus Finnegan would practice poi while he was wrestling with his asexuality and with the fact that he was using a spell to make himself appear white throughout the series when he was, in fact, Filipino-Egyptian. Well, there you have it. Amazing facts and history about poi. My name is Poi George, a poi expert. I'll see you next time, and may poi bring you joy. Ah!